Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spy Master was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, here we go. So good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here I come. Find you.
Did you see any monsters while traveling to the other aisles? My nanny says the big ocean's full of them. But I think she only says that to scare me. While you were gone, Mother seemed very sad. I think she missed you. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Later, will you give me more climbing be... lessons? She'll Someday see you I'm going once. to climb up to the rooftop. It's been good traveling with you, Corvo. Huh. <laughs> Did you see any pirates? Ooh. Corvo, if you won't marry my mother, would you marry me? Mm -hmm. Hello, my lord. Mm -hmm. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, your majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. Follow me, Captain. What news have you brought? You should leave them alone. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before. Knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! <laughs> Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Corvo! Oh. 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 Mommy! Oh. Get away! Corvo! Corvo... It's all coming apart. Fine. Find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Take him. Sign the confession, and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time 
to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time, and someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. Guards! Take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Another night, another patrol with you. How come so many people are coming to the execution tomorrow? I shouldn't be here. Now I'm gonna die for nothing. I'm not a Corvo. The one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. You're out. Good for you. So it's an Cut some throats. Right. Social event for the High and Mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector. Hey, his kill a guard for me, will ya? They're as bad as us betting on the dogfights. Attention, the solitary wing is off limits to maintenance unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Execution is tomorrow, right? Yeah, but everything has to be set up today. I can't wait to see this man. Attention, the Not solitary wing is I off really limits like to maintenance this. crew, unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice.
kill on his way out of the place. I guess if you'll kill the Emperor, he don't care about a few guards. Shut up! Look at this stuff. Somebody's been down here. Don't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take them out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Oh, 
that? Hey, what was that? You know I heard something. I know something. Oh, no. Get around him! Just... Uh, uh. Uh. I'm Samuel, and I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. They said you'd come out here. I could still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. finds out what we're up to. The watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. I'll take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Royalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times. But his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. 
Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. The count for the month of peace has increased. The Lord Reaper has decreed that Clay's ordinances will remain in effect for the month of prayer. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work for you. I will create the tools of a master assassin. Now the tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there's a terrible mess. That one is empty. A new tank. mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face, but this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? See the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions, but our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, 
Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic, and now these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. Days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Regardless of severity, 
must be reported. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He Master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the help pits. Oh, Corbin, if you've a moment. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Ready to go? Just give the signal. straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague, the other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. Then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Keep working. Well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs>
Dunwall citizens, this is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. Guys. With regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition to this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous of their services. Attention Dunwall citizens, the following businesses have been closed and impounded by the state due to contamination. Barrow's Barbershop and Surgery, the Duke and Dancer Ale House, Merritt's Printing Firm, Pennyworth's Tack and Saddle in and the Smoke Street Dice Hall. Garbage, 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 all of it. I think the little birdies are sad today. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them. And they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family, but an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. 
You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? you the knives go on the left. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I think the little birdies are sad. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them, rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. You, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was at one time, but now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Huh?
Tell me again what you'll do if Slack Jaw and his Battle Street boys jump you. Hmm. Somewhere around here. What the fuck? I'll find you, you hag. the door handle to Dr. Galvani's left. Someone there? No! Can't someone help me? Help!
Ain't he just a boss, like Slackjaw? Nah, this is one odd bird. Sorts with crazy, does rituals in life. Bone charms and such. You sound afraid. Damn right I am. Down in ordinary man. Touched by the outside of me is given dark powers. You got lucky. When you're this handsome, you don't need love. Face like a hagfish. Pay up. Don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixir's done. He'll want to check on things. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. I told him. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one.
What? Psst, Corvo. It's me, Overseer Martin. What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell, and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerr now, and word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel in the boat, man, I'll tell him to pick you up in the I was just reading in the archive about the heretic's brag. It sounds painful. Have you ever heard of it? Anywhere, brother. This is folly, I tell you. If he catches us in here... I've told you a hundred times. Campbell is upstairs meeting with the captain of the watch. He'll be busy for hours. Now keep looking. And I've told you a hundred times, Archer, that I am certain he keeps the Black Book on his person at all times. We went to the trouble of breaking into Campbell's sanctum for nothing. Shh, listen. What was that? You can stay and find out.
are born, and will continue thus long after My youngest sister is my wife, but does not cook or clean. She thinks on curious subjects, machinery, numerical calculations, and only yesterday she spoke to me with a book. What shall I do? This is very true. For such a young lady, Already within his grasp. Watch her carefully for signs of it. She may fall into fits, or be heard speaking to the empty air, or laugh or cry without provocation. Perhaps a disfigured man may come and inquire after her, or you might discover small items in the house, branded as if by or the loads of rats. So, briefly and in conclusion, not a winged serpent. In dreams, I have seen <laughs> my hands raped. Right what an arsenal! Help! I need a hand here! Those fools at Coldridge for letting Corvo get away. Who knows what the man could do now? Hi, Remmel, Lord Regent, as he asks us to call him now, seems to have faith in all the Sokolov.
the watch is having trouble holding the sides now. Watch the children playing games, that's all it is. Your sister and your niece, Callista, is I'm very concerned about her. She'll be found. My men are searching district by district. The poor girl. Callista's a resourceful one. Probably found a safe place to hold up in all this chaos. If my overseers hear any word, I'll come straight to you. Time for drinks. I hope you won't. Ah, here we are. Now if you'll join me. Men will come get you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained. Good time. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies, and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. Now, to business. What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's Alley is a sea of blood and teeth. I almost wish I'd been there. <laughs> Take it easy there, old son. I'm all right, Colonel. Went down the wrong way. Now about these overseers. Who are just as guilty as my own men, if not more. But my overseers have a name to protect. I can't allow you to... Oh, oh no. This can't be happening. Who's done this? What on earth are you talking about? No time, no time. Listen carefully. You must... Instruct the Lord Regent to burn the Black Book. Understand? Burn it! What Black Book? What do you mean? Tell him. Warn them. And then die of plague, you useless incompetent. I never liked you. What the? Campbell? He's dead. Guards! Guards, get in here! By the prophecies. What have you done? He's been poisoned. There was a younger of your order in here before. An initiate, perhaps. Detain him. You don't give orders here. Don't be a fool. He must be running already. Get after him! I'll be filing a full report. Stuff your report, Colonel, and I'll have your weapons at once. Idiot! One step closer and I'll gut you. You've forgotten where you are, Captain. You've no power here. You'll regret this! Go for the alarm! Now! Uh -huh. Take me out! Take You're gonna be charged! We'll have to fight our way out! Feed him to the house!
probably right. Samuel, I'm here. Oh my. From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty bosh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect I want to congratulate you. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. going to work. We have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent in measure. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. 
We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints, if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry, I only thought, never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Corvo, my friend, do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. It is every citizen's duty to report freedom of speech and action. The state depends on you.
She went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Foolishness. Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night. He said there's one of those watchtowers in the Clavering now. I guess you get me.
Attention, Dunwall citizens. Anyone with information pertaining to the death Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. That him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. I don't think they're gonna last much longer in there. That's what they get for taking free swigs from the still. That tainted elixir is bad stuff, I guess. It's what they call irony, I think. Elixir is supposed to prevent the plague sickness. What was that? Need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. The rest of us get one part of it. He is a villain if I judge your looks aright. A villain I might have some work for. Somebody put plague in the brute tank. Half my men are weepers. Trapped three of them in the distillery. Rest are wandering in the street. Since it's so and I find myself short of able bodies, I may have a point of interest for you, see? Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat.
Attention Dunwall citizens. Under criminal activity. Watchtowers and support patrols have been deployed. Any suspicious person will be a hostile with malicious intent. I know something. Next time we slid it, got over. Can't stay hidden forever. Gotta be here somewhere. Hey, I heard that. You're here, and we'll find you. I'll flush you out. I think he's dead, right? I know. Definitely somebody about. Watch it. Gotta keep my eyes open. What's this? Information from my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Black 
Bradshaw. It's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you did. Wants to take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang. And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first, I did. That's why it's taking me so long. I wanted to be sure. And... What's that? Ah! No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slatjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the golden cat brother. See that? Slatjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you, quiet-like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. The Cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to his safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. Hey, shut up! Someone's still around.
The Pendletons are here again. Rich and mostly clean. Can't ask for more than that. More what was that? Help! Help! I need help! Oh, please! No, no, no! Please, help me! Morgan's in the steep room downstairs tonight. Yes! Someone help! I need aid! Guard. You'll get dismissed for sure. I can't believe. <laughs> Finally, I've been like this for twenty minutes. Your footsteps. Oh, oh, oh that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? Start with them. I cheated them, robbed them of thousands. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Retribution! Retribution! Ah, oh, that was perfect. But it's all I can do for today. All my servants. We're done. <laughs> ah! We're done, I said! Retribution! Now let me out! this? What do you want? I'm only an art dealer. I have a few valuable paintings at home. You can have them. 
Take this key. It opens my apartment on Clavering Boulevard. No more. Please, what do you want? The safe. Yes, of course. The combination is 879. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. mask. Corvo? Corvo, it's you! You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off and in the prison, dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way. Unlock it so we can get away from this place. This place is on the river, so you must have come. Come on. Come to dinner now, that's right. Well. Sweet little birds, come to Granny. Granny won't hurt you. It's good to see you again, dear. But don't dally, or that young girl might fall in the river.
Gotta keep my eyes open. You brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you'd be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, the Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking mines. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This district is now on the Back, Corvo. You made short work of things. Get in. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh, grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress me. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention.
foolishness. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it then. Ask me for any gear you need. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Just climb aboard when you're ready. Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me, but what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you're doing What was that? Citizens and visitors to our... By order of the region, the now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Alton Bridge until attention all. No.
know something's up. You'll keep running. All clear. You're going down. You're gonna bleed, damn you. Take it! Die! in this blasted curfew. How is this supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. Yes. Yes. Man like Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen, and he doesn't wear my mark so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. Something or are you trying? Get over here!
think you're being quiet? Gonna tour the pearls. Huh? 
get to the bottom of this. Here you are.
You're such a chop. I don't know who you are or why you did this for me, but listen. Nearby, there's a partially collapsed building. Up on what used to be the third floor, you'll see a painting. I used to work there. Behind the painting, there's a safe, and the code is 294. Turn my hopes and what? How did you get past all the guards? Your tattoo is quite unusual. It is reminiscent of markings I've studied on cave walls far from the city. Who sent you, Piero? That jealous fool. There's no need to be his lap hound. You and I can come to an agreement, one that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. I can't say I'm surprised. I knew someone would come eventually. But you're not what I expected. There's no need for violence. We can be great friends, you and I. Will you join me to drink? Sit and talk a while. Come, we'll discuss your future. Women, whatever you want. There is much to learn from the stars. Those fluent in their tongue. I could consult my astronomical charts. Is there no reasoning with you? Before you do.
position himself. He made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. And shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. Well done, Corporal. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machines. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Corvo! Wake up! You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Dunwall citizens, the Ascendants. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. Can't you see I'm about to bathe? I understand. It was an accident. We have such a hard time maintaining privacy in such a crowded house, don't we? I can't believe this. When I took this job, they told me I'd work with good men. Ugh. I feel dirtier than when I started. If you don't mind, obviously I'd like to be alone in here. Attention Dunwall citizens, be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. 
royal physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, was a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there is love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so far. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress, the very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. A curious strategy. Of which I approve. understand your decision to tell Callista. Far be it from me to criticize a man of your well-known capacities. I understand your decision to tell Callista. Far be it from me to criticize a man of your well-known capacities. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendicium spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? I could... King Street Brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, 
She still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which boil she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate? Tonight? The timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out, in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself, and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will land right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of Boyle. Better you than me. This area is restricted to invited guests only by request of the local landowners. Unauthorized intruders will be expelled or apprehended. I need Damn. more men. Oh. Help! I need a hand here. Get clear. Firing. Get clear. Guards to me. stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours lets you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. By request of the local landowners, unauthorized intruders will be expelled or apprehended on sight. 
somebody. Please help. Help me. Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. Going to wear the same costume in different colors, and we're meant to right be this way, another sir. of their eccentric fancies. I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tiresome. If you're not going to have fun, maybe we should go. I'll struggle on once we locate it. Carol takes pride in being difficult. As much as look at that be. mask, Shall we sick go bastard. <laughs> Another party game. It was fun for a season, but now? What is it tonight? Guess which is which. Their hair and makeup are identical, but one's in red, one's in black, one's in white. Their surprise at the end. The Boyle cameo. As if they don't get enough attention. Then again, the cameo is worth a lot. Doesn't Esma's bedroom have a balcony? If you could get up there, I bet you could find something. More likely I'd end up in Cold Ridge Prison. The City Watch is everywhere tonight. But at least you're thinking. There must be another way. Waverly likes to be seen in red. Which everyone knows. Too obvious. You know, I hear there are other ways into Esma's bedroom. Oh, don't flatter yourself. Just thinking out loud, dear. Yes.
Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless, lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. It's damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. A contest of honor will take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get a on kill. with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Stop at once! Stop! Stand right there. Three. Two. That's another patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky for the man. They hear the Estermonts pay top coin. indoors this time. Welcome to the Boyle Estate.
tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is a pass. I should have taught him some Did you? Well, what is it? Oh, really? Tell me. No, I don't know you. I'm not even sure you're on the guest list. What? Why? Who sent you? Very well. I... I've no wish to die. But I won't wait long. And if you're lying, I'll see you hang. But it from her is natural. Your obsession with the sexual rights. I can Will it never pursue. end? Or else? Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Emma, you could get her sent to the... Please move along. I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight, and, how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Waverly. Ooh, I won't scary harm mask. her, I swear. Doing all right there. Means. Evening, sir. What most people don't remember is... Excuse me. No guests past this point. Where is she? You found her! Quickly, let's get her on board. Last, oh my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. holding this together. Excuse me.
my party. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Hello again. Enjoying yourself? You? Go ahead, help yourself. I take everything I can carry. They'll never miss it. We found out what the whales oh. could do. Excuse me. Hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. Now we've done away with a woman, and a noble woman at that. But Boyle was a viper. She helped the Lord Regent kill the Empress. So I don't feel a thing for her. Personally, I heard you upheld my name in a rather spectacular style, and at some risk to yourself. I want to thank you for it. This little item has been helpful to my family over the generations. But I think you'll find more use for it than I ever will. Go on. Take it. You've had a long night, Corvo, but I fear it's not over. Havelock and Martin have already cooked up something more for you. They would like to see you now, in Havelock's chambers above the bar. Atten Corvo, the time has come. Everything we have done, everything that you have done, has served to make this moment possible. The Lord Regent is exposed, Corvo. Vulnerable, and now everything is in place to strike at him. But one step from the throne. One man, one beating heart, is all that's left of the forces that brought this city to the brink of ruin. It is simple, but it will be far from easy. 
The Lord Regent's paranoia has reached an all-time high. He has lost the support of the Overseers, the Parliament, his financial base, and he's lost Sokolov, who made his security technology. So at Dunwall Tower, he has consolidated every remaining loyal man around him. He knows something is coming. He knows you are coming. And everything depends on him being correct. Piero will help you prepare. Then Samuel will take you close to the tower, near the waterline. Last time you were there was the horrible day that all of this started. Now you will go there and end it. Good luck, Corvo. I'm not sure what else we could say, other than our hopes are riding on you. your mind? Do you need me to build something for you? I can make anything. And this is my lesson plan. Boring sums, boring history, boring geography, boring, boring, boring seven structures. Ugh. Why can't we study sword fighting? Sailing and and monsters.
ready to face the Lord Regent? About time we took care of my say. Long past time. This is it, Corvo. Your last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. Most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. Built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. Calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. Broadcast control station here, where all them announcements come from, might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. This is it, Corvo. The last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. The most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. He built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. He calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. Broadcast control station here, where all them announcements come from, might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you.
Attention Dunwall Tower personnel. All new assignments report directly to the duty officer.
General? There have been reports of disturbances in the tower courtyard. We have men checking on it. Double the guards, triple them! Many times must I tell you? If only everyone could just do what needs to be done. Yes, Lord Regent. Since the rooftop is secure, you should stay in a safe room for now. My men and I will ensure no one gets up to you. Yes, you do that, General. Within the high walls of your enemy's stronghold, what an impressive sight you make on your way to face the Lord Regent. How will you end his reign? By blood or by truth? He's not an easy man to get close to. 
if the Empress had been as well guarded. How different things would be now. Is it just revenge you're after, or do you have another plan in mind? Will you restore things, make it all right again and crown a new Empress? Or will you send them all howling into the void? Either way, I expect a good show. A citywide ban on whale oil is now in effect. Citizens are encouraged. Please, please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secret. Some would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confession will be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. If I explain, then you will see I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity to the city, to rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil. And it was a simple plan. Bring the disease-bearing rats from the Pandician continent 
Let them take it. What are you doing? I order you the to put down your weapon. The plan perfectly. It's, a it's over, first. Hyrule. Your head will but roll the for what you've done. It was as if they no. sought to undo me. Man, they hid me from the captures and bred and sick You nearly bait. destroyed the city. Soon it didn't no matter. matter. Rich, poor, all were falling yes. sick. And then people began to ask questions. The Empress assigned me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a foreign power. I knew it would come out eventually, so there was no other way than to be rid of myself. She had to die, you see. She had to die! Bringing about the death of an Empress is not an easy thing. How can I attack the plague with some real Quarantines, deportation of the sick. But there's always some idiot. Searching for a ancient lost bay or some sniveling workman searching for his missing wife. And then quarantine is broken. But you can see how my plan should have worked. Would have worked if everyone had just followed orders.
Is it all done? You ready to go back to the Hound Pits? Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. Big changes. Makes me uneasy, to tell the truth. A small fry like me always gets the worst of it. But maybe it's going to be different now. Lord Regent is gone. The Abbey has a new high overseer. I'm guessing our work is almost done. The others are in the bar. No doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name. Me, I think I'll just linger out here if you don't mind. Reflect on things while we have a moment. Congratulations, Corvo. Attention Did he kill anybody citizens. tonight? Hyrule How many? Once known as the Lord I'm tired of being afraid. When I'm Empress, I'm going to make everyone else afraid instead. That's it. The Lord Regent's done. Farewell to Hiram Burroughs, you scheming piece of shit. Now we can bend the law to pardon our past crimes, Corbin. We'll find Dow, the assassin the Lord Regent sent to butcher the Empress. Then you can have your revenge. We'll have to move fast to clean up his mess. The armed forces will do their job. Martin has control of the Overseers, and you, Trevor, do whatever it is you do with part That's Lord Trevor Pendleton to you. Without me, you'll never command the nobility. They'll tear you apart like a fish. Sorry, Corvo. We're nervous. Your work is done, and ours begins. The coronation will be an impromptu affair, but it still requires much preparation. Most of it we can handle, but there is the matter of security. Emily will be vulnerable to whoever killed her mother. I doubt history will repeat itself, but you must be sharp and wary tomorrow. He's right. Rest. Restore yourself. Raid Piero's wares. Restock your ammo and make yourself ready. Just in case. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Cole, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. Have you given Emily much spiritual education? The Seven Strictures? The Litany and the White Cliff? I... no. I lack the qualifications, Overseer. Uh, hi, Overseer. Perhaps you ought to send her to me, and soon. Do you need me to put something together for you? Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job, then. Remember, we need the body. 
If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent, and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. Why I keep sticking my neck out for you eludes me. But I only gave you half the poison, Corvo. They were watching me do it, but not close enough. Maybe you'll survive it. I can hardly blame them for turning on you. After all the people slaughtered in the name of this cause. Those are crimes of state. And maybe they figure it'd be too hard to control Emily with you around. Could be they're right on that score. I'll drop you in a boat, and then I've got to ship out myself before they smother me in my sleep. That's the next thing. Makes the most sense. If you're lucky, you'll wake up and find your way out of this doomed city. If not, well, goodbye. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poison. Tibian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to Dowd. Talks to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your Empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. You're a mystery, and I can't allow that. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man.
would he come back here? Hard to say. But we should watch the streets. We'll see him from the rooftops. All right. If nothing else, we can cut him off at the market. He can't get through the rail station without the feet. Come back here. Hard to say. But we should watch the streets. Maybe on the rooftops. Oh. Thank you. 
must be one seen. Stay in the shadow and avoid the light. Walk to the other side of the room without attracting notice. I have one more surprise for you. I ask for my life. When I killed your empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand, the mark of the outsider himself. And I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands from one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was somehow important. It felt good. It made me believe I was powerful. But what have I accomplished? More than you have, or much less. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing, so my life is in your hands. 
Make your choice. And you choose mercy. Must be be in a basement. There's no hospital. I told you that. You think they round people up because there's a cure? There's city guards. They did. They protect the healthy people from people like us. Stand this way. The plague wagon's running every couple of minutes now. Just need to get on top of it and right out of here. Okay, great, smart guy. Then what do we do when we hit the wall of light on what short gate? We'll be fried. Possible! What the hell are you? Are you some new kind of guard? Like a tall boy? Can't be. Doctor, maybe? <sighs> Just kidding. Assassin, maybe. Passing through, huh? Hoping to catch a ride on the pla- Wagon. A few come through here trying. 
and they'd fall and break their necks, but that won't stop you. You're almost there. It's pretty easy to get to the rooftops from here. You'll see the way. What do you want from me? To rob me? Looking for a quick roll in the mud? To rescue me? Well, I am not going anywhere. I came here all on my own, and I'm staying right here. Do you think it's better out there? I hate to break it to you, but this is it. This is Dunwall, what you see right here. Flooded district, estate district, anywhere else. It's all gonna be the same soon. Don't you have a plague wagon to catch? Kind of guard, like a tall boy. Can't be. Doctor, maybe? Ugh, just kidding. Assassin, maybe. Passing through, huh? Hoping to catch a ride on the plague wagon. A few come through here trying, and they fall and break their necks. But that won't stop you. You're almost there. It's pretty easy to get to the rooftops from here. You'll see the way. What do you want from me? To rob me? Looking for a quick roll in the mud? To rescue me? Well, I am not going anywhere. I came here all on my own, and I'm staying right here. Do you think it's better out there? I hate to break it to you, but this is it. This is Dunwall. What you see right here. Flooded district, estate district, anywhere else. It's all gonna be the same soon. Don't you have a plague wagon to catch?
wish I had a last swig of whiskey. Nor the mask guy's been taking down all the lords and ladies. No way through this gate unless you've got the sewer key. Only one place to get that key, and I wouldn't go there. Not for all the gold in Dunwall Tower. Not again. Maybe you could pull it off, though. Something attacked us in the distillery. It used the rats. I know it sounds crazy. And then it run back under the streets. So we come down here to kill it, Slackjaw leading the way. It went bad. I barely crawled out. Don't know what happened to Slackjaw. He had the sewer key, though. I'm going to boil off the nasty fat and sinew and carve a pretty I'm going to boil off the nasty fat and sinew and carve a pretty song on your bones. Hey! Someone kill this crazy witch! I could make you rich! Quiet now. Granny needs to concentrate. Don't kill me. Granny Rag, stop! Stop what you're doing! Can't we at least talk about it? My knives gotta be nice and sharp to cut into your skeleton, Slackjaw. Nice and sharp. There's my love. Are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? Granny has some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Aren't you a gentleman helping Granny Rags with her stew? We'll eat well tonight, sweetheart. First thing, you'll have to put him to the knife. Don't want him crawling out of the pot now. What you doing? Listen, Omnikova. Don't help her. Don't let her kill me. You can have anything I own. Money. Whiskey. I got a key to the sewerways. Whatever you want. Unlock his chains for me, darling. Here's the key. Go ahead and unlock his chains now, dearest. That's right. Pick him up and toss him right in the pot. Go on.
Oh, thank you. What a fine help you've been. I'll just let him stew a while now. Go ahead, darling. Take your presents and go. Granny's got things to do. That's what's left of Slackjaw. I guess I should thank you for killing him for me. Listen, Amikovo! Don't help her! Don't let her kill me! You, you have to have gut anything him I own. first, dear. Corn! Whiskey! I got a key to the sewerways! Whatever you want! What are you doing? Don't help her. She's out of her mind. I can reward you. What do you want? Money? Weapons? Oh, no, you don't. I'll kill you and cook you and eat your heart for breakfast. Look around. There's a cameo for you. Yeah, then protect me. Wanna know something funny? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny? I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corvo. find your way into such interesting places, Corvo. At the eye of the storm, raging between granny rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other. Crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. 
Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dowd, the man who killed the Empress. You had him in the palm of your hand, and you let him walk away? You fascinate me. you, Corvo. I think the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore. But I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. Havelock called us into the yard. But I wasn't feeling well. I just watched from the attic. The Admiral brought his cutlass. He stuck Wallace through the eye with it. Then he did Lydia. Calissa he shot in the back with his pistol. Emily saw it all. Havelock kept yelling something about the things he'd done and how no one could ever know. Pendleton wouldn't even look anyone in the face. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when they killed... I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And I...
citizens. With sad hearts, the City Watch must announce the death of the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs. May his spirit fade from this world and suffer no more. Refreshing to converse with someone on my own level. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion. Bravo! Good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with these, but Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Arc Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whatever you think.
The Ark Pylon is complete. Now to activate. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious. Or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corvo? As you wish, Corvo, we will be far away before any of them regain their senses. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honor? When this arc pylon is charged, no one will dare come near us. beyond my greatest expectations. It defies description. A device like this will ensure Dunwall's security for centuries. The girl I've been caring for is gone. Emily is her name. Yes, that's I expect that you will want to take revenge on those who wronged you. I do not know where they went, but it was by water. Old Samuel would know, I'd wager. We once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's tower for communication across the river. I wonder if he remembers that. I'll make what you need as long as I have the necessary materials. Goodbye, Corvo. I wish to apologize for what was done to you. It seems that holding all the pieces and standing a step from the throne changed something in the others. Something I don't understand. Don't underestimate Havelock, Corvo. He'll be waiting. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned, I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. As to the good Admiral, I believe men such as Havelock start with high-minded intentions. Same with Martin, and maybe even Pendleton, though I suspect he was just lazy. But no one is prepared for the sheer seductive influence of being so close to real power. Once you start ordering people killed to get your way, everything else is mere detail. I return to my work now, and you to yours. Killing people, I mean. I sincerely hope it goes well. This Piero of yours, a strange mind. But then my own is strange as well. If there is a cure to the plague, I believe we will find it. The old... Thought I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? 
I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We should start off soon. I've been feeling something in my bones, and if it's plague, well, I can't be counted on to drive this boat much longer. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. got her locked up in the lighthouse somewhere. If Pendleton's lost the first round, he's probably dug in someplace, doing his best to drink himself to death. I suspect it's Martin who's got the lighthouse under siege. They turned on each other at last. So the Admiral's power mad, Martin's a snake, and Lord Pendleton is a coward. And you, Corvo, the things you've done, you could be the worst of us. I've seen a lot traveling with you. Now get off my boat. I'd wish you good luck, but I'd be lying. Out, Corvo. I don't like what you've become. No better than these traitors. That's why I'm gonna tell them you're coming.
Check everywhere. Why don't you come down and settle this man to man? The view is nice up here. I'm not moving. Don't try to act brave, you worthless piece of inbred shit. Come and get me if you're so strong. Open blue blood. Let's see how you like this.
show, Corvo. I'm in your dick. Bastards dumped me in. I should have killed them all when I had the chance. Don't say that, my lord. First my brothers, now me. It's my own fault. And now cousin Celia's going to inherit. That's the worst of it. <laughs> Been a decent captain. A little slow on the draw yesterday, I have to say. But decent. Yes, my lord. Sorry, my lord. I knew you would get here. <coughs> well, you're too late. I'm already dying without your help. A stray bullet. I'll never know whose. What could I offer you anyway? You want money? Well, I'm broke. Women, maybe? Everyone knows you were screwing the Empress. You like noble women. You should meet my cousin Celia. <coughs> At least I outlive Martin. Good breeding always rises above. Cigars tonight? Chances are very good.
child. are all dead, aren't they? That's all right, because I was going to have them killed anyway. I am going to be Empress. What will history tell us? That the daughter of a murdered empress ascended the throne up a mountain of corpses, carried by an assassin named Corvo? No. They'll say that little Emily Caldwin I came to power in an age of terror and corruption, and that she did her best in a world that is not kind to little girls or empresses. Whether the stories told mention you by name or not, she will remember you were there, Corvo. anything in your short life. Empresses are pieces on the board, and an empress can sometimes die. Everything has come to nothing. Wait, stay where you are, Corvo, or I jump. Corvo, save me! Quiet! Leave. I don't know about you, Corvo, but I've had a lovely time. Intrigue and mystery, butchery and betrayal, the death throes of an empire. And you were an avenging spirit, spreading chaos at every turn. The city's feeding on itself now, liars and merchants and nobles like maggots on a carcass. Soon will be nothing left for the rat. It's just as well. The Empire was dying already, completely rotten. All that was needed was the right man to send it over the edge. But now, you'll be off over the horizon on an outbound ship. I wonder, are you chasing something or running away?